Hello, Shafik Punja fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sans Three Minutes Max. Today, we're going to talk about uh, the first uh, tenet that I brought up yesterday in terms of what I'm looking for uh, when I'm doing a criminal defense case. And that is, uh, the first thing that I want to look at is I want to validate the findings of the facts. In other words, uh, many lawyers, when they call, the first thing they want to do is put a hard drive in my hands. And I say, well, you know, why? There's, there's no point right now. Let's find out what is being alleged. So I want to see police reports. I want to see uh, reports from the other side's forensic experts. Uh, I want to see what their examination has determined and what they're alleging. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to validate that. So uh, what I want to know is are the facts outlined in the charging instrument or the statement of claim, uh, are they correct? Uh, did the defendant or the respondent, depending on the type of case, did they do what is being said they did uh, at the date and time alleged and with the culpable mental state, in other words, mens rea, do they know they did it? And did they commit the act which constitutes the offense or the tort? Uh, so the question comes, can you get child exploitation images on a computer without knowing you got them? And the answer is absolutely 100% yes. Uh, and we'll look at, at some of the ways that that can happen. But, uh, you know, people poo-poo the virus defense, but uh, absolutely a virus can do that. Does it do it all the time? No. Uh, and uh, so there are explanations we want to validate is what they're saying uh, is, is it true? Is it correct? So that's the first thing that we're that we're looking at. Now, remember what I said, uh, you know, a while back. I said what you do matters. Uh, you shouldn't be mailing it in. You shouldn't be doing stuff like this nine to five. Uh, you shouldn't be rushing on a Friday to get out the door. People's lives hang in the balance. And people in a court are more inclined to listen to someone in a uniform with, a, you know, shiny badges and medals than some uh, perceived high-priced, you know, idiot in a three-piece suit. So we have certainly an uphill battle. And uh, so we have to always keep this in mind. Remember, first one, validate the findings of fact. Is what they're saying true? It's got nothing to do with what I believe. It's got to do with what are they saying and is what they're saying accurate? We found these 10 pictures and this is uh, where we found them. Okay, that's reasonable. I'm going to look into that. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about validating the methodology used. But in the meantime, in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.